TitleMatchNetwork.com. Rick Martell. Rick um, was a good, good, very, I don't know what the right word is. Uh, he was a he was, solid baby face. He was solid, uh, but for something lacked with Rick. Charisma? There you go. You didn't want to say it, or I didn't want to say it. Okay. Rick might see this. Right. He'd get <laughs> mad at me. Yeah. But I, I, but I that was it. I mean, he just you know, they wanted uh, uh, they wanted a young guy to have the belt. Bachwinkle wanted Martell to have it. Um, there was other people that didn't see that. They didn't think he would draw the money. Um, that's when a couple of promoters wanted me to have it, and I just I, no. When, when Nick would suggest that, you know, he wanted Rick to have the belt and w he would approach your father about that, would, yeah. would your father open to listening to other people's oh, ideas? Yeah. He, he, okay. The way, the way we booked, Vern was at the head, then we'd have about four or five of us there. Uh, Bachwinkle, Heenan, Lanza, Wally Carbo, myself, and we'd throw out ideas and then he would make the final decision on it. Okay. And that's the way it worked. Okay. Um, Steve Regal. Early memories of uh, Mr. Electricity. Yeah, he was he was a good performer. He was really good and a good talker. The Midnight Rockers, Shawn Michaels and uh, Marty Jannetty. Well, I put them together, so I better be. They were. Uh, I saw footage of both of them. They had sent it in. They wanted to come, and I thought, God damn it, here's we need a new young team. If we put these two together, it could really click. Uh, and Vern said, Well, who's the better of the two? And I said, Well. Right now they're about even, but I think Sean has the more potential of, of the two. And uh, put them together, and they had uh, Buddy Rose and... Uh, Doug Summers. Doug Summers. And those two were pretty good, pretty good hands, and they, could, they knew how to get the young guys over, and they did. They did a good job. And, did you and, see the potential in Sean early on? Oh, yeah. Yeah? You yeah. Did? Okay. I knew right away. I thought two minutes a team. It was just Shinetti had outside of the ring problems that, you know, sometimes carried on into the ring, and uh, that was his downfall, right. unfortunately, because he was a good, really a good guy, and he had so much potential. How important were the Road Warriors in the battles as WWF expanded? Well, you know, they, they were kind of, um, they came after the battles got going, really. You know, they, they weren't in the, the prime time, for us anyhow, yeah. but they helped us keep going uh, but but uh, they were, uh, and I think Joe will tell you this, they were a little hard to work with. Everyone says that. Yeah. Back then. Back then. I right. mean, Joe now today says, you know, I didn't realize. And he said, you know, I took you and Jim for granted, but they were some of the best matches we ever had. Mm -hmm. He told me that one day. He said, and, and to this day, I, I just, you know, I apologize. 